Latest update on Tinubu's Chicago University Certificate Saga. Nigerians, this is getting more interesting. The Senior Special Assistant to President Bola Tinubu on media, Temi Tokbe Ajayi, has said the humiliation his principal has suffered due to the academic record controversy cannot be compared to the question of whether or not the Nigerian leader graduated from Chicago State University in the U.S. Nigerian News records that Chicago State University has released Tinubu's academic records following the request by the People's Democratic Party PDP presidential candidate Atiku Abubakar. The university on Monday presented to Atiku's legal team a coach of a, a coach of documents connected to Tinubu's education at the institution and copies of certificates with dedicated names issued to other persons about the same time the Nigerian president finished from the school in 1979. Reacting Ajayi via the micro blogging platform formerly known as X, formerly known as Twitter, said that Atiku Abubakar of the PDP demonstrated a behavior synonymous with beating the biting the hands that once fed him or in his pursuit of healthy position. For me, the issue is not whether President Tinubu graduated from the Chicago State University or not. Ajayi wrote on X on Tuesday evening. It is the fact that the former Vice President Atiku is not a decent man. Nobody should subject his or her, her friend to the level of assault and indignity he has subjected President Tinubu to because of headly position and Contestation for power, Ajayi added. The presidential aide recounted instances where Tinubu reportedly moved mountains for Atiku in the past and shattered him when he was thoroughly beaten by Ray and stripped naked by President Olusegu Obasanjo and his party PDP in 2007. Olusegun Obasanjo was Nigerian's president between 1999 and 2006, and Mr. Tiku Abubakar served as his vice, but both men later fell off after Osibanjo claimed Abubakar was disloyal. No friend should become what Ekiti people call Alini Modain. Sorry if I did not say it well. A relentless pursuer, like former Vice President Atiku, regardless of the prize, Ajayi wrote in in his angry tirade against the PDP presidential candidates. Okay. Focus on criminal case, not friendship. To realize criminality. Is about Nigeria, not about Atiku and Tinubu. That is a backyard talk in the Kingsmen meeting. Be matured for once. Mr. J should just stop talking rubbish. You should hide your head in shame for supporting a confirmed criminal called Tinubu. You are not even bothered about the international disgrace and embarrassment he has caused Nigeria, and you are here. Promoting tribalism. This is nonsense. Using a female certificate meaning he is the owner of the certificate. If it takes a female certificate to look for a job here in Nigeria, why I am a male? Will the government or private sector employ me? Okay, using a female certificate meaning he is the owner of the certificate. If I take a female certificate, to look for a job here in Nigeria, why I am a male, will the government or private sector employ me? You can't you can deceive some. 
but not all. You can deceive some, but not all Nigerian. We are watching. Hmm. Article thief is a betrayer of repute, an agent of devil, advocate, but God has put him to shame. Presentable is product of the Chicago State University. Shikina, case closed. Address the point and stop emotional blackmail. Okay? The certificate he submitted to the INEC and what exists at Chicago State University are they the same in front size, character, and signatories? You and your paymaster should bury yourself due to this scandal. Atiku is an honest man compared to your, to your paymaster. Okay? Okay, guys, these are reactions from Nigerians. You see, this is one of the issues we are facing today in this country. People don't even look at the main thing. He's talking about Atiku Abubakar pursuing President Bola Metinubu, knowing that they were friends. He has helped him before and all that. What of what about the certificate forgery? Is that not a crime? That is why this government keep on harboring evil things. When you want to do anything, come with clean hands and nobody will pursue you. That is how I see life. You understand? Then they talk, say, if you want to drive for road, make sure say you get your driver's certificate, your driver's license. You get your certificate updated and everything. No policeman go, go talk to you anyhow on the road, even when they stop you. Good and fine. Where is your, your papers and all that? You present to them. Zoom, you go. But when you be say you want to mago mago, you not get license and you they drive. Your, your papers are not even up to date or they are not even complete. And when police are now uh, harassing you, you say they are harassing you. Who are you to harass me? This and this and that. But you subjected yourself to that level. We should learn how to do things right. That is it. So guys, let's hear from you. Kindly share your thoughts below the comment section. Please, do not forget to subscribe.